which is why it's good to be prepared before the inevitable surprises. Here to help is Veronica Gordon, known as Veronica the Explorer. Veronica, thank you for coming. We appreciate it. It's my pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me. Well, we know this time of the year is crazy, which is why getting to the airport at the right time can be very helpful. What is, what is your first tip about getting to the airport? So I advise, and TSA also advises, to arrive to the airport with lots of time. Two hours before your domestic flight departure and three hours before your international flight. Right now, there are crazy lines in the airport. There's lots of people traveling. This is one of the busiest travel seasons of the year. So get there early so you don't have to run through the airport like we see a lot of people doing. Yeah, I'm always one of those people that's like, I'm just going to get there early. I'd rather be sitting and bored than sprinting. Yes. So I'll totally just chill. agree. And especially this time of year, I totally get it to me. Okay. And what other things should you do ahead of time before you get to the airport? So I highly recommend downloading movies and shows beforehand to your devices. So you're prepared and you have some sort of entertainment while you're waiting for your flight. You want to do so before you leave your house when you have Wi-Fi so you can have all of your shows and a whole library of entertainment for you and your family if you're traveling with family. Yeah, I mean, you know, the airports, they have Wi-Fi, but you never really trust it. It's pretty shared, but there's other people there. And then even when you get on the plane, they might have like an app. But some you never know. Yeah, some airlines they have in-flight entertainment. Some airlines even have Wi-Fi, but it's not always always guaranteed to be available to you. So even if you download your shows beforehand, you have all of your entertainment needs at your fingertips. Mm -hmm. What about portable charger? You have to have those. Right now, airports are extremely busy, and some airports have charging stations. However, with all of the folks traveling right now. The traveling stations are probably really busy and there probably isn't an outlet available. So having a portable charger with you is the best way to go. If your battery gets low, you simply plug it in and you have your device right there with you while it's charging. Have you ever been like on a remote island with no phone service and you were really grateful you had a portable charger? Always. <laughs> <laughs> Should you go to the Caribbean next week? You are always somewhere really cool. Yes, I am. I love traveling and I encourage people to travel safely and have fun while doing so. Well, let's get some of the things that you travel with. One thing that you think people should all consider is what we're looking at right here, which is a sealed compressed bag for your clothes. What does that do? That's right. Compression bags are a great way to travel. They allow you to squeeze down all of your clothing items, particularly if you're traveling with sweaters or scarves, and it allows you to make more room in your suitcase. So I highly recommend using a compression bag or compression cubes when you're traveling. Right, because if nothing's actually weighing down the clothes, and then it'll just be kind of poofy. There'll be air in there. It'll take up more space than you realize. That's right. And you can also fit more things in the bag if you compress it all down. I like to pack very exact, but sometimes I like to pack an out extra outfit or two. And the compression bags allow me to do so. I also want to get to traveling, because obviously you bring your clothes and your stuff. You just might be bringing stuff to people because it's the holidays. If you're traveling with presents, what tips do you have for people? That's right. Right now it's the holidays and TSA advises to travel with unwrapped gifts and also to travel with gift bags or gift boxes. In the event TSA, TSA needs to go through any of the bags or the items, you can simply remove it and put it back in. But if you have a wrapped present, you'd have to unwrap it and then figure out how to wrap it later. Oh, interesting. So don't bring it wrapped. Don't bring it wrapped. Bring a gift bag or a gift box instead. And don't give anybody like a bottle of water that's two and a half milliliters because then they won't get it through. That's right. No liquids. I recommend traveling with very little yeah. liquids. TSA has their procedures on that. But tra try to travel with very few liquids if possible. And also, you believe that people should bring a carry-on bag, no regular suitcase? Why is that? I do. I love traveling with carry-on only. I get to keep all of my items on my person, and then when I get to my destination, I simply am allowed to deplane and start my journey right away instead of waiting for baggage claim. When you travel with carry-on bags only, you also don't run the risk of an airline losing your luggage, which can happen and which can somewhat cause a damper on your trip. So if you can, travel with something that you can have on your person at all times, such as carry-on bags. Yeah, I always love when they're like, we'll let you check your bag for free if you bring it up now. And I'm like, over my dead body, <laughs> you're not taking this suitcase from me. I'm going to fight 
to get that last space you put overhead. Uh, Veronica, thank you for your time. We appreciate it, and happy traveling to your next remote island. Thank you so much for having me. Happy holidays to you and to everyone. Happy holidays. We'll be right back.